in this video i'm going to be reviewing one of the more popular and up and coming extenders in the market right now and that's called the Franken extender. This baby came in a little bit over a week ago. I've been using it and testing it out. And I put, seriously, I put like around already about 20 hours uh, worth of traction using it in the in the past week or so. So I would say I, I given it a good a good test drive. So I think, um, you know, I think extenders are the, the way to go. I think, you know, you're gonna, gonna be able to make it longer. And I like to mimic the studies a lot. In any case, and that's why I use extenders uh, pretty much as my primary form of elongation technique. So uh, in this video, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through uh, through my thoughts. I'm going to compare it directly with the Total Man Rod Extender 2.0. And I'm going to show you all the ways that you can use it. And I'm also going to go through some flaws and how I think it could potentially be even better. So it's going to be a very interesting video. So let's get started. Uh, this, uh, this basically, this extender is made by a Reddit user called uh, Pervy, Pervy McSwerve. Uh, I ordered it about a little bit over a month ago now. I think it might have been like a month and a half ago now. And um, it cost me, let's see. Yeah, so it cost me $125. Uh, at this point in time when I ordered it, uh, he didn't used to have a website, but now he has a website. It's called Massive uh, Novelties. So now you can basically order it through the, through the website. And it's $130 on the website. So... Uh, I only paid like five dollars less um, just because it when you know the website wasn't up yet <clears throat> so uh, I'll go ahead and link uh, the website massivenovelties.com. I also link um, the reddit profile uh, so you can you can see he has a lot of tutorials and how to use it and all this stuff um, you know he has like uh, you know pervy looks looks like a nice guy um, you know one thing that I think I'm not a huge fan of is that he does and, and promotes this thing called uh, water, uh, like a water technique to avoid blisters. Basically, you take the water cup, you put water in it, and uh, and that's how you use it. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, mainly because uh, it's untested. You know, I'm not a huge fan of things that are not untested, uh, which is kind of counter <clears throat> to it because, like, um, you know, I just don't want to want to experiment too much on honestly on myself uh which is you know kind of like may sound a little hypocritical because i do do a lot of crazy things like injections and dmso but like uh injections is a well-studied uh, medication you know dmso um was done uh, by a lot of people before and taping taping has been done for ages and it works and it's you know um you know i'm gonna put out a dedicated video just on taping so you can see how it can be done uh nowadays i actually do taping with the lg hanger and i like i said i put in like 20 hours uh alone um just last week uh with um, with the franken extender and with the lg hanger uh and i didn't get not one blister and I, I legit used it for like you know i think six hours in one in one go uh one of the days i actually think i put in like i have a log i gotta look at look it up um but i i know i think i put like 20 if not more hours in any case uh he has a lot of tips and tricks i would say um you know that's the only tip that where i'm not a huge fan of everything else i, I think is very uh, very legit and he does make a good product so but this video i'll have different videos on all of that uh this video i'm going to review specifically the franken extender uh so this is what it looks like and um you know and, and it came in a very discreet package so let me go ahead and uh do a you know turn the camera around so that we can uh we can sort of have a you know have a, a, a deep comparison uh if you will so let's go ahead and do that okay so here you go i think it's going to be a better angle uh for me to sort of explain uh, so I have the two extenders here. So I have the Total Man Rod Extender uh, 2.0, which is like uh, I used for many years, for about I would say like three years now. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, and this is the device that I would hands down recommend, um, you know, up until, well, you'll see right now, but essentially this is what I would recommend. Unfortunately, the Total Man um, team does not make this anymore. Uh, they upgraded, up, quote unquote upgraded, uh, to the Total Man uh, Extender 3.0, which in my opinion is inferior to this. <clears throat> I can see why he did it, you know. It's made out of plastic, so it's probably a little bit cheaper to make. Uh, it's also more flexible, so it's easier to hide. Uh, but the main thing that I don't like is that you cannot dynamically add uh, tension. So in, in, in my theory, the you know when, when you compare like the Restorix uh, study versus like the Penny Master Pro study, uh, in the Penny Master Pro, you basically had to wear the device for about six to eight hours. 
uh, to achieve good results, whereas in the Restorix, uh, applicants only had to wear about 90 minutes a day uh, to achieve uh, similar results. Now, uh, the reason for that is because uh, the Restorix has a traction, uh, traction zone or a treatment zone rather. Essentially, when you're in that treatment zone, you're applying uh, a consistent uh, traction force. As you wear the device, the penile tissues basically relax and elongate. <clears throat> and you see this because there's like a visual indicator in the Restorix. Uh, you know, let me just actually show you that. Okay, so here we have my Restorix, which I use for a long time as well. Um, um, I think I used it all together about six months. Used it sparingly here and there. Um, not a big fan because it's a clamp. It uses a clamp. It's very, very uncomfortable to use. Uh, but quite effective to be quite honest and why is it effective so there's these lines here <clears throat> and what you're supposed to do is you you're supposed to like when when it's in, in your penis essentially um it's going to compress right and you're basically supposed to be where the line is barely visible as uh the penis relaxes more of the line is going to be visible so what you're supposed to do is add a few more clicks and sort of slightly uh you know have it have it like slightly visible again and you're supposed to keep it at this so what this does is as your pe penile tissues uh, relax <clears throat> essentially you're keeping the same force at all time during your therapy session and that is basically the difference between like the many penny master pro and the total man rod extender 3.0 is that you cannot dynamically add tension which makes extending much more effective now i do i combine the best of both worlds whereas i dynamically add tension as my penile tissues uh relax and i wear it for a long time and i, I got a lot of uh gains uh over that so with this device i gain um if i recall correctly about an inch uh, a lot of it also came from the restorix so i got all my newbies noob gains from the restorix and then uh all, all, all together i gained a little bit over an inch altogether but a lot of it came from this um the total men 2.0 because i wore it for a long time and uh i was able to dynamically add tension and which is something that i really really like so uh in any case that's you know kind of a long-winded way of saying why i don't like the total men rod extender 3.0 is because not you cannot dynamically add tension as well as it's um you know i have peronis and check out the other video as how, how i teach you uh, to treat a penile curve and uh, basically you can put a velcro strap on this so uh, yeah watch that other video but you can basically put a velcro strap on this and basically uh you know if you have a like a dorsal curve basically going up you can then place it on uh place it on top and that uh that gives you um you know kind of like a fulcrum uh a way to put the you know create a bit of a fulcrum and really focus attention on that uh on that curve uh using this so make sure you check out that other video um so you know and and, and that's why the sturdiness is really important and uh, the 3.0 just basically doesn't tick those boxes for me which is i just cannot uh, in good conscience recommend uh the 3.0 Especially for me personally, which is, you know, I wanted to resolve the curve and I wanted to dynamically add tension. So how does the Franken extender uh, compare to the 2.0? So in my opinion, the Franken extender is what the Total Man 3.0 should have been. Okay. So number one, um, Pervy basically adds this, uh, this plate here, which gives it more stability. You know, as you see here, this one. You know especially and it's really problematic when you use the the strap method and you try to create a fulcrum it really kind of like uh you know all this bending this one's a lot sturdier because of this especially when you you know goes a little bit down it, it's even sturdier uh so that's good um you know, let me take a step back so you know kind of things that i uh my first uh impressions when i unboxed it so uh, number one why i unboxed it it was a little greasy so there was like grease here um i just took a rag and cleaned it off uh you could potentially use like you know brake cleaner fluid to really get it get it all nice and clean and uh and not like sticky and stuff especially if you're using it around your bed sheets and stuff uh it can be a little messy so it still smelled like grease but i just used a rag and uh you know it was fine um you know some of these things are not it just doesn't look as clean as say the total man so for example you have these little things here right they're not like perfectly i have ocd so i noticed these things they're not perfectly flush right they're not perfectly flush here um let's see what else first impressions um yeah those were my first first impressions when i first unboxed it 
was just this little imperfections and the smell of grease and how greasy it was. So, uh, but I think this this here doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter at all. The grease you can just clean it off. So you understand it's kind of a, a one man shop right now. So uh, you know over time I think it's gonna get even better. Uh, this just looks a little bit more um, you know professional. I would say uh, it just looks a little bit cleaner and stuff. Um, but this is you know this is better. You know just just because of this uh, this extra plate here. It makes it a little bit sturdier. Uh, <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, um, I've been using it a lot, so um, I'm gonna show you like some of the some of what I you know what I think so far. So, uh, <clears throat> so the the beauty of of <clears throat> you notice what's different here is the base. So let's talk about the base first. I think it's the most obvious thing that's different. So here, the total man uses sort of like this uh, this base here. And you, you doesn't like really, you can't go past a certain point, okay? Whereas uh, this one uses a U shape, the U shape, and it goes past so you can sort of uh, get it. Uh, so I guess it depends sort of on your comfort. What I like to do is have the hook be up, and I, I, I like to have this facing up. Uh, there's kind of a bit of a, I don't know if you can see it here, but like there's a groove here. Some sort of like, yeah, like a groove here. I'm not sure what that's for. I'm guessing like if you wear it down, uh, that can be for your testicles or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I wear it like this, and this part is perfectly fine. It's perfectly uh, comfortable for me. I prefer it with the hook. Uh, up <clears throat> my biggest problem is with this this u part here this u part can really dig into your like your your pelvic area and that can be very uh, uncomfortable and it's honestly the worst part about it uh, like this is way comfortable I don't need to do anything like this is very very comfortable whereas this this parts can really dig into your um, your pelvic area what I like to do is like take a piece of cloth and I'll just sort of like put it in here you know sort of wedge it in there around the the penis and uh you know this u part and that for the most part resolves the issue i wish there was like a more elegant way of taking care of it uh, but yeah i don't i don't like this to be perfectly honest but uh there's a reason for doing this so uh the reason for doing this is such that uh you can do uh for example you can use a compression hanger so this is the the um the male hanger and you can put the compression hanger on and in fact let's just do that real quick okay so <clears throat> here i have the the male hanger on um now as you've been watching my channel i really don't do compression hanging uh my mainstay is vacuum hanging but uh the guy from male hanger sent me this for free so i could try it out so i'm still you know i'm still trying it out uh, i got the frankensender first so figure i would review that first i ordered uh yeah that i ordered it a while ago so i wanted to do that first <clears throat> In any case, um, yeah, the reason that uh, you have this here is such that um, essentially you can just put it on after after you put on the clamp, the compression hanger here. So essentially, you can put it on after the fact, and uh, you know you can attach it essentially here, right? Which is something that you cannot do with the Total Man uh, Rod Extender 2.0. Right, like this just, you know, I think you just can tell that this is not, uh, this is not going to go, it's not going to go in, right? And you could try putting the clamp on with the with the extender on, but it's just like super inconvenient. Um, so there's a reason for this. Now, um, yeah, and thanks, thanks, uh, thanks Mr. Slappy here for volunteering. Um, but if you're using the Total Man uh, cups, basically you don't really need this because uh, this can go through the hole here. So, uh, so this is like the biggest, the biggest cup that you can get here and it goes through the hole perfectly fine. Um, so it doesn't need to be cut up. So, uh, so if you're using the vacuum cup, this design, uh, would have been, would have been perfectly fine for you. Now, um, if you saw my other review of the LG hanger, uh, nowadays I'm using the LG hanger a lot more. It's like my main device. And I for unfortunately, uh, I had to use it with a pulley and weights at first which is fine you know uh it's just a little bit more time to set up but i couldn't use it with the extender so i had to have a pulley and weight system set up but with the this extender um you know i can basically i, I can basically use it right same same concept like you know i can put it on i can put my lg hanger and uh this basically goes here so uh the lg hanger and the frankenstander is like a match made in heaven uh this is my mainstay this is what i use now um and what i'm going to be really be using uh, moving forward um but 
you know, one thing that I really miss uh, from the uh, from the from using the pulley system and like a bucket and weights is that I know exactly how much tension I'm applying. <clears throat> So uh, there are some instructions on the Franken extender on, on so that you could tell, uh, you know, how much tension you're applying. And basically you measure how compressed the springs are. I, all of, I ordered like a millimeter caliper on Amazon. It should come in. So that'll help me I'll be able to tell exactly how much tension I have. But uh, it would be ideal if there was sort of any sort of indication here. I mean, ideally, like my dream extender, honestly, is something where... Maybe like you can you can turn it into like a round one after you apply the cup. I don't know how you would do that honestly. Maybe like a, a thing that you can slide in and, and make it make it like round like this and it's just more comfortable. Basically to fix this gap and make it more comfortable. And number two with a built-in scale, like a built-in system such that you know exactly how much tension you're applying. And I've seen a lot of guys in the in the Reddit getting bigger where they actually did this. I'm not going to bother doing that. You know, I think with the caliper system, I'm going to see if that, how well that works. Um, so, you know, we'll see how well that works and, um, uh, and I'll post about it, uh, when I do it, when it does come in, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, the total man doesn't have that, but in my ideal system, uh, it should have a way of visually telling you exactly how much weight, uh, you're applying. I'm, w I would be willing, and I bet that a lot of guys would be willing to pay extra for a version that did have that. So you can always sell the cheaper one. But if you could have a system that had like a built-in scale, uh, I would pay like a hundred bucks more, honestly, just to have that, uh, to be perfectly honest uh, myself. So um, yeah, that's that's the main uh, disadvantage. Another thing that I don't like, and I actually told Furby uh, about this, is that these nuts here don't have a groove. So my hands can get a little greasy, uh, uh, you know, when I'm uh, when I'm doing the extender. Um, you know, it's just like I get hot, and because I, I use a lot of heat to, uh, you know, I actually, you know, what I'm doing these days is I have my vacuum chamber here. Uh, I have the, you know, the penis in here. Um, but then I also set up my Total Man heat pad, and I wrap it. And I use a little Velcro strap to basically secure it in place. And I, I that's how I apply the this infrared heat. Um, and so that's uh, that's kind of my 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 routine, my main routine now, nowadays. But in any case, like I tend to get a little sweaty. And uh, you know, uh, there's probably also because like there's some uh, leftover grease that I guess I didn't clean up uh, great. <clears throat> but in any case, like turning these can be kind of annoying sometimes because you just don't have the best grip like because of their shape and form. Whereas these, uh, it's just a lot easier to turn. I would much rather have these type of uh, nuts than these because these have the groove. This has like a groove that has a grip, so it's much easier to turn. Uh, so that's something else that I um, that I didn't like. But other than that, like if you don't want to spend money on the LG hanger, um, you I think I would absolutely recommend the Total Man vacuum cups. But I would recommend uh, taping, so make sure you check out my videos on taping, uh, and then you can use that as well. So this is um, in my in my this is gonna be my new recommendation that I that I recommend uh, to people. Uh, in in this video and in future videos, I'm just gonna start linking them to the Total Man uh, vacuum cup, so you can get that. You, you know, I'll tell them to get multiple sizes, get it with the sleeve, um, and get the Franken extender. And this is my recommended way of doing it. Um, you know, I follow the studies, so I prefer to tell people to do you know four six hours a day uh, using the extender to dynamically add tension. And uh, to keep it at a, a slight discomfort, essentially, you know, slightly past your bone press uh, stretch flaccid length. Uh, basically, you, you, you should feel a, a nice strain. And as you get uh, more comfortable, as your glands particularly get more, uh, get stronger, you can you can increase the tension. And now if I could have actual uh, numbers that I could tell them here, that would be even, even better. Let's see how it goes with the caliper. In any case, this is going to be my... Uh, my go-to my go-to extender nowadays so um yeah to be quite honest those are the only things that i didn't like uh is like the base and the and these nuts and how uh ideally i wouldn't want to wait too visually i mean you saw the restorics like there at least you can visually see how much weight you're applying there's like a visual track so any sort of way that would tell me exactly how much tension i'm applying uh would be amazing so yeah so just some uh some final thoughts um so yeah just some more thoughts on the the extender itself it's great quality 
I think the pricing is right. I think, you know, the fact that this, I don't like this, but you can actually overcome this by, uh, you know, just placing like a bit of cloth um, to make it a little bit more comfortable. So yeah, I'm going to uh, go ahead and crown this, da -da -da -da, the best extender in the market. Uh, way better than like, uh, particularly if you don't have Peyronie's, like even then I wouldn't recommend the Restorex. Like I would much recommend the the old strap trick, which I showed in the in the other uh, video, how to how to treat the the curvature. Uh, so this is what I would recommend hands down. Um, and especially for newbies, like I'm not a fan of uh, manuals at all. I think like uh, you can you can really injure yourself. So with this, I would just say just start slow. Uh, learn, spend some time learning how to tape up. Uh, how to uh, how to use the vacuum cups you know get the tournament vacuum cups if you can afford it uh get the lg hanger but i would say like you know you don't have to like that's just i i really like it because it gives me um i can tape even more so i use like the i'll use like the 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 self-adhering wrap which you know i'm already running out here i ordered some more on amazon so i'll go ahead and link all that stuff below but in any case it allows me to tape not just with the micro pore tape but then i add a layer of the self-adhering uh wrap here and I even tape even extra on the glass just to make it nice and and I do this erect so that you know I'm not trying to get my glands bigger you know I want to keep them safe and uh, not blisters and I don't want them to over expand uh, to be quite honest so I make it nice and snug when I put it in the LG hanger chamber so um, yeah in either case like I you know I would recommend uh, for any newbie uh, to get the Franken extender to get the tournament vacuum cups to get the the tournament sleeves. And um, yeah, this is gonna be uh, the way to go, the way to go nowadays. So uh, yeah, if you, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link uh, the Perfect McSwerve and um, the Mass Novelties website so you can go ahead and purchase it. And, uh, and hopefully this video is useful so that uh, I can refer people to it uh, just so that they can see why I recommend this device. I'm gonna have separate uh, separate videos to show like a complete tutorial on how to use it with the different mechanisms the different methods so um, yeah I'm going to uh, you know hopefully make a series uh, of tutorials to help to help people particularly newbies uh, on how they can get the most out of the Franken extender so um, but yeah if you want to support me throw throw some shekels my way the cash up is down there but really the best way that you can support me is by uh, hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button sharing with the community you know sharing this video if you if people want to know more how, how does the total man extender compare to the frank extender you know this is what this video is all about and uh yeah stay tuned make sure you check out these other videos which are relevant to you stay tuned for more content and i'll see you next time peace